Hello and welcome. We are in New York for SWIFT Business Forum and I'm joined now by Todd Inskip, Principal at Booz Allen Hamilton. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. I'm very let's, happy to be here. Let's talk about risk management. You obviously work with a variety of clients. The function of risk management has evolved quite drastically over the past decades, especially within banks. Where are we now? It has. We're at a point where people are really starting to change the way they think about risk management and how it incorporates cyber risk, how to think about cyber risk, but we're at a point that isn't mature. We're still really toying with how we should assign responsibility and roles, where accountability should lie for cybersecurity as it relates to risk management. The organizations are still evolving, and we're seeing that in every sector, financial services in particular because of the payments work, but we see it in oil and gas and healthcare, pharmaceuticals. Um, every sector is thinking about risk management differently because of the changes, particularly in the threat environment over the last several years. So cyber, a big component, a big driver of the shape that uh, the risk management function is taking these days. And so what kind of solutions, technical solutions, are available to help the function? Yeah, the risk management solutions is an interesting space. There aren't a lot of like detailed technical solutions to it. There's some uh, capabilities, but what's really important and what we find companies don't spend enough on is the process. Um, you have to really build a process around those technology solutions so that you have inputs to the technology, outputs from the technology that you're taking advantage of and tying into a business solution and thinking about it from the overall business perspective for both the financial industry, the financial service company itself, and for its customers. And that's where we see companies making the greatest strides is when they really focus on process and think about it from an end-to-end -end process perspective. Which products are more exposed at the moment? Uh, so we obviously need to uh, meet customers' uh, needs in terms of speed and uh, um, ease of use for, uh, for these products, but at the same time that opens up potential risks. Yeah. Where it, do we need to focus on? Yeah, it, it, it's the global payments piece right now. The big money movement that we've enabled over the past decade or two. Now we see the, the problem with, uh, we've treated that in kind of a binary way. You got a message and you acted on it. It was assumed to be a good message for really good reasons. Um, and we made those kind of instantaneous payments. And we've made payments very quick. We've made them final. Um, and so the risk management things that you would see in a, a consumer credit card aren't there in global payments. The ability to say, wait a minute, I didn't really mean to charge that shirt at that merchant. I, I want my money back. Um, some of those mechanisms aren't there. The way we look at risk, Todd wasn't in London yesterday, so does it make sense for him to be charging money in London today? There's some analogs for that in global payments that haven't been incorporated into risk management. SWIFT's new customer security program gives the, the banks some more tools to think about how to manage risk. So there is quite a lot to discuss. You're going to join uh, the program later with the keynote, and I think you're also joining the panel, so I'm sure you're going to share this with the audience uh, here at SWIFT Business Forum, New York. Thank you for Thank your you comments, Todd. Appreciate it. Pleasure to be here.